All right, so here we're gonna talk about neutralization reactions. And this is when you have an acid combining with a base, all right? Um, and the one we're gonna talk about this year is when you have a strong acid and a strong base going together, all right? So for example, here we have NaOH, which we know is a strong base, good. And we know it's a strong base because if we were to look at the periodic table, we would see that it's in group one, all right? And it's the third one down, so Na, remember that column, they're the strong uh, bases when they're paired up with OH minus. We also know that HCl is an acid and it's also a strong acid, okay? How do we know that? Because we memorized, right? The one of the, It's one of the seven. Okay, so the next thing we have is the arrow. So which way is the arrow gonna go here? Is it gonna go um, to the product side? Is it gonna go to the reactant side? Is it gonna go both? Like, is it, you know, in, um, double-headed? And the answer is because it's a strong acid, it's only gonna go in the forward direction, all right? Now, this is a neutralization reaction. And what that means is neutralization is your products are going to be um, a salt and water. So let's take a look at this. So first of all, Na, Na's charge is plus one. We get that from the periodic table. Cl is minus one. OH is minus one. And H is plus one. And we get the H from the periodic table and OH is hydroxide, and we've memorized that that's minus one as well. So this is kind of like um, a double replacement reaction where we have to figure out, well, all right, Na, it's plus one. What is it going to pair up with on this other side? Is it going to pair up with the H or is it going to pair up with the Cl? And good guess, yeah, it's going to pair up with the Cl because the Na is positive one and the Cl is minus one. So they're actually going to balance each other out. And NaCl is a salt, right? A cation and an anion together. Another name for that is a salt or an ionic compound. Okay, the other part of this is water is going to be formed. So let's check that out. Here we have our OH, and that's minus one. And then we have our H, which is plus one. So that's going to come together to form HOH. And you can leave it that way in this chapter, or you can rewrite it as H2O, all right? So they mean the same thing here, okay? Um, and that's what it means for a neutralization reaction. So you'll end up with some kind of salt. It doesn't have to be sodium chloride. It could be a whole bunch of different options, um, but you'll end up with some kind of salt and H2O, all right? Um, so there are other types of neutralization, but again, this is the only one we're going to go over um, neutralization is the reaction of hydrogen ions, H plus, and hydroxide ions, which are the OH minus. They form water molecules. And then a salt, it's an ionic compound composed of a cation from the base. That was this right here, all right, the Na. And then an anion from the acid, and the anion is right here. And they went together to form your salt, which in this case was Na plus Cl minus, which gave us NaCl.